Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have had numerous requests wanting to know if I could come up with some concepts for outdoor decorating, sculptures, things from the wall. Well this is my very first out of the ideas box and it's pretty much just the easiest thing in the world to make and as I look at this I'm thinking ah wouldn't this be a great thing to make for Valentine's Day so you blokes out there who are looking for good ideas for Valentine's Day for things that you could make because that is the closest way to a girl's heart for, to hand them something and say I made this for you but anyway what I thought is that these would be look really really delicious three or four of them clustered together suspended from either a fence, a concrete wall, or you might have an, a wooden fence, or you know, whatever, if you've got a spare space outside and you want to decorate it. Now, they're very easy to make, as I said, and you only need a few components. The first thing you need is some, I think that that's like about an, a 16 gauge wire. So remember that the smaller the number, the thicker, the heavier the gauge of the wire is. And it's just a matter of taking that off. And you will also need some wire cutters or side cutters and some of these blunt, I think they're called, I don't know, these plier things, these are quite good things. Right, plus you will also need some chicken mesh, which I've got here. I don't, well, that's what we call it here, but that needs to be doubled up. And if you've got very, very nice, delicate, soft hands, not like my old, hard as rough as old nails, um, hand you might need a pair of gloves so that you don't cut yourself. Right, the first thing to do is to cut the wire to the length that, uh, to a size of which will be um, your heart shape. So depending on what you, how big you want to make it, you're just gonna have to gauge how much you need. So you might have to have a couple of wee practices. So the first thing I'm going to do is to just put a little hook there, a little eye there, and then take the eye through here and take that back on itself. It's a bit fiddly for a minute, but that's okay. Once you've got this, this is the hardest, but once you've got this in and you, that's all joined up together, you're fine. So then the next thing is to just bring this into a heart shape. So all I did was just bend that down into there like that and then just pull that down. So just make that, well, you know what a heart looks like. If you wanted to, you could make a wee template and, and just put it around there like that, but look. All hearts are different, aren't they? So that, that's basically the shape that I need. Um, and you could put it a wee bit sort of, take that a wee bit more pear shape down the bottom if you wanted. Then the next thing is, is to get your chicken mesh and let me just clear the decks a bit here, get rid of that. Lay that down onto there and if you wanted to you could get a marker pen and just cut, cut around there and it needs to be a centimetre or just marginally under half um, an inch around there so that you've got enough. So cut that out and you, remember you'll need two. So take one of your halves and then what you're going to do, you'll see that that's a bit too big, but basically what you're going to do is that is just going to be twisted over there like that. Now, with the magic of television, I've actually started one. This is, it's a bit, so that's all, basically all you're doing is just like taking that and twisting that back over like so until that's all joined and that's quite firm like so. Right, once you've done that, it's time to put the other one on. So I've gone from this side down, so turn that around and it's, do exactly the same and you could if it's a bit too big just cut those bits off but you really do because it's going to hold those wee stones you've got to make sure that these are all and of course you'll do yours neater than I am but I'm just rushing here to get it so make sure that those bits there are all twisted over because there's nothing worse than doing something and then discovering that the little stones come out okay so leave an opening either at the top or you can do it at the base then get a thin a piece of wire same sort of wire actually this might be a bit of good old stainless steel which I'll probably get into trouble for but never mind he won't even know that I've been into it so cut that to a length about that I use found that that length was the best length to use and then take that up to there Give that a wee twist around like that. And then it's just a matter of threading that through both layers and pulling that quite firmly so that you're actually lashing it or stitching the two 
together, oops, I just lost that bit there, take that through to there and pull it quite firmly because we don't want any stones escaping. Right, keep going until you get right round to the other side. So, as I said, leaving it a hole either at the top or the base, then it's a matter of getting your stones and make sure that the stones are big, and, are big so that they will be housed in there so that they don't come out. And then just, with your hand, get into there and just push those down and into there and give it a good donk as you go or just get your pliers and push those right down to the edge and you just keep going until all of the stones are in there. Now, the other thing is if you make this bigger, you can actually have a bigger rounder heart. But you get this general drift of where I'm going now. Just put all of those into there and then when they're all in there, you just bind those bits together and just continue twisting until the whole thing is finished and then just get your, your um, bit of wire and I've just put, like you could use something a little bit more savoury than that but that was all I could find. But anyway, there you have it. And the, as I said, two or three of those clustered together hanging and suspended from a fence or a garden wall could look very nice and the other great thing would, could be like varying the colours of your stones. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed showing you how to do that really quick and easy, inexpensive and fun to make. Thanks for watching and I will see you another day. Thank you.